write this down in your TV guide. Friday, October 10th will be Floyd Styles Day here in New York City. My first guest has a special tonight on NBC. Welcome, Steve Martin. Steve. Oh, hi, David. How are you? Oh, yeah, I was doing that this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, um... <laughs> you want a beer? Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe, for, maybe for Libby. Yeah, yeah, warm beer at 10 in the morning hits the spot. Look at the, the brand name on here. Get a close shot of it. Put it over there. Put See, it over they, there. They can't use the real name because that would be a free plug, so they have to cross it out so we have Pudge Brocor. <laughs> that disguise Give is me a good glass of Pudge Brocor beer. <laughs> Let me explain uh, why I'm in bed to the audience. I'm looking for action. <laughs> I, uh... You know, we worked on this TV special. It's on the night at 10 o'clock called All Commercials. And it takes a long time to prepare these things. And we worked for three months on it and a lot of writing and casting and shooting. It takes a long time. And it was, it was working 12 hours a day. It was so hard. And I said, the day this show is on the air, I'm going to stay in bed all day and drink beer. <laughs> watch TV. Yeah, yeah. But I wanted to come on and let people know that show's on the air, so this is sort of a compromise. Well, I appreciate you uh, compromising your beliefs, yeah. uh, but uh, it was exhausting work, huh? Yeah. It turned out pretty good? Oh, I think it turned out real funny, and it's a very uh, commercial show. It's... <laughs> Uh, it's uh, no nothing but Steve. Steve. Oh hi. Hi. <laughs> it's nothing but commercials, eh? Pardon me. I, uh, <laughs> the show there. What do you got? You got? See what else is on. A whole pound of delicious candy in each. Imagine. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I like that. It's the all cartoon channel yeah. here in New York. <laughs> so what would so, the, yeah, what other things, uh, just nothing but commercials, huh? Yeah, it's uh, totally commercial. See, I always felt that, you know, I, I did my first two specials and I got a lot of letters uh, from people saying that the best part were the commercials. <laughs> <laughs> so it gave me an idea for, uh, for this show and uh, it's basically, it's not really a satire of commercials, it's, they're treated with great dignity, you know, uh -huh. and uh, we had to, you know, write some of our own, and uh, there is one brief entertainment segment, but that's all. Mm -hmm. What would that be? That's so the nitty-gritty dirt band yeah, singing, yeah. so that's a good time to... Okay, and uh, we, we have... <laughs> We, we have some videotape of this uh, show, mm -hmm. and uh, will we take a look at that now? Uh, what are we going to see? Do we need to explain this? Uh, no, it's not much. This is just another one of our commercials. See, I had, you know, I did the Tonight Show on Friday, and I did the Today Show this morning. We showed a different clip on every show. So, and you know, usually you see people, they're out promoting things, and they always show the same clip. Yeah, yeah. You see, I chose a, a different clip for every show, so this is like... What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Huh? different clip from his special tonight, Steve Martin. Every now and then, you hear folks talk about a product that's made with love. Well, me and the folks here at the Motel Dairy Farms have come up with what we think is a good one. It's called Honeymoon Butter. You say, what the hell is that? What the hell is this honeymoon butter deal? What kind of a deal is it? Well, I'll tell you. We 
skim the richest cream off the top of the finest milk from our best cows, and we pump it directly into the water beds of our honeymoon suites. In the morning, butter. Pretty good deal. Just remember, rhythm rich honeymoon butter really is made with love. here and uh, we talked about your show on tonight called uh, all commercials <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you know every time I go anywhere on an airplane um, <laughs> stewardesses uh, uh, all that happens to me all the time yeah. too. <laughs> sort of like a telethon this is why we've got to keep this money coming in ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Stewardesses uh, are always doing you, I mean, so to speak. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? They're always, they always say, wild and crazy guy, and then they always go, excuse me. Well, isn't that funny when they do that? <laughs> uh, I love it when I say, excuse me. Yeah. It's so funny. <laughs> You mean there's a possibility that you got that from stewardesses? <laughs> possibility I got a lot of things from stewardesses. <laughs> That's a kind of a quick gag I like to do. <laughs> uh, that was totally unrehearsed. <laughs> so, uh... Well, let's hear you try and be funny. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to get off your chest uh, that you haven't covered, that you're just uh, you're fed up, you're angry, you're mad at anybody? Uh, 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 anything you yes. want to say? Okay, go ahead. I could not believe what they wrote about me in the National Enquirer. I am so angry at this. It's one of those predictions. Oh, yeah. Can you listen to this? says Steve Martin will appear in the David Letterman show in his pajamas in a bed. See, that's where you are. That came true. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I, it, it looked like it was going to go, though. There yeah, for it looked a like it was going to go yeah. good. And then... yeah. <laughs> it, it had, um, had the all the... beginning of the end. No, no, Steve, no. H have another poached brark. Wait a minute. So, how did you get started as a comic? <laughs> How does it feel? Do you write your own stuff? You know, the question that I always like is, where, where do you come up with those bits? <laughs> do you write all your own stuff? Here's a good question. I understand you have some funny typewriter paper. That's on there. I'm supposed to answer that. You know, we've made a huge mistake. These are for Ruth Carter Stapleton. <laughs> a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> you are. Yeah. You're a very funny guy. Well, you're a guy. funny guy. You know, you're a funny guy. No, you're a funny guy. No, Steve. You're... <laughs> we were talking the other day. Who's funny? And they no, said, we there's only one man funny. That's Steve. Oh, no, no. Yeah, you are yeah. funny. We were talking the other day. Who? They said, there's only one funny guy, and that's David. Well, oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Now, uh, what are you doing now? You resting up? You know what up? would happen to this mic if this weren't here? It just <laughs> flop over like that. <laughs> that reminds 
me of <laughs> Uh, we have to pause. Uh, we'll be back. I'm going to put Steve back.